we were in the Hollywood. We were gardening at the time. And that's when we were asked to evacuate. I was a little different from the rest of people. They had proclamation come out. Right then and then, I protested. I did, but I won't tell you how far I went. But anyway, when evacuation came, the military said, you know, we have to evacuate this area. <laughs> I told those two lieutenants, no, no, not on my own power. Then they'd make a, what, a chair, like? Two lieutenants, you're young men, you know, smiling, says, okay. I sit on this. They took me to the front porch, said, well, thank you. And then I walk up to the bus. <laughs> anyway, I was really a, a problem kid, I think. Even when the, before they first started, they, you know, the, all the proclamation come out. I was really a, a, a very, uh, a, well, I was objecting because after all, you know, we're American citizens. We have just as much rights as anybody else, and we have just as much uh, the right with our, our Constitution. You know, we have a day in court. We should have a day in court. Frank Amy, I believe he's the one, he's, instead of in so many organizations, you know, saying the same thing it's from different angles, huh? Let's all get together. Then he's the one that put all everybody together. First, we have a little say, by the room like this to go. You know, just the stuff, people that were, you know, they were very critical about art. And before you knew, well, you know, people got no place to sit. You know, they want to hear, they want to talk, they want to give their views. So we rented the uh, missile. Then before you know, you know, there's more people, they want to exchange view with you. We have to put a microphone outside of, outside of a mess hall so the people can hear. They, they demand it, huh? We want to, huh? So, so more, so it just has got larger and larger. <laughs> that, that was a key, that's where we got stuck with the conspiracy. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> that is a key. I mean, that's what the people wanted at the time. The one for all, all for one. So we, you, you were just a we, refused, you know. Then that's what the federal government came, stepped in and said, this is a conspiracy to overthrow government, and all that crap, huh? You know, I'm thankful that all those people helped us out. It's those people that made it possible for the Fair Play Committee to do what they did. If it wasn't for the people, could have made it. They said, here's the money for, you know, there's a little money, but you know, give it to the committee. There was a lot of them, girls too. And East State too, they helped quite a lot too. And then when I was transferred to the campus, a lot of people huh, say, Sam, you know, here's your 50 bucks, huh? Spend it on yourself. You know, that, that's the kind of people they were. They're the one that made it possible. If it wasn't for them, you know, we won't be here. I mean, we won't be where we are now, you know, from the start from the, go to the Supreme Court of the United States. The customer asked me what I did in the war, uh, during the war time. I tell him, I tell him. I had served time in Livingworth. What happened? Well, I protest against this camping, huh? I think I made me more for being honest than huh? trying to hide it. I always believe, be honest. You, you may be wrong, but that was my view, and then you're, you're better off. And my impression was, any time they talk about the, uh, from the JACL, I'm not too uh, cooperative with them, I'm a little hostile. They compromise too much. And my past, my past experience with them, they want to try to keep things peaceful. Well, let's give it, give it to them. Give it a little, give it a little. You don't have to compromise yourself. Right is right and wrong is wrong. You're better off that way. You start compromising before you know you compromise everything you do. Before you know, you don't know what you said. <laughs>